Exactly once each year, I relive the same moment in the same place at the same time as an entirely new person. For as long as I can remember, my family has woken up at 5 a.m. every morning on New Year's Day, loaded the car with thick blankets, and driven two hours to the beach to witness the first sunrise of the year. Admittedly, it's not an occasion that invites much enthusiasm on my part. But regardless of the freezing temperatures, the unmistakable moment when the dark sky begins to blend into a bright mix of yellows and oranges while the sun creeps up above the sea is a wonder to behold. Tears are shed, hugs are shared, and our annual photograph is recreated along the boardwalk, a nostalgic and bittersweet tradition. Standing there on the beach, suspended in a period of transition, I watch as the previous year passes on the baton to the next. I indulge in solemn contemplation of the 12 long months ahead and pensive reflection over the 12 long months I've left behind. In 2019, I overcame many conventional hurdles for someone my age. I was accepted into college, attended my senior prom, graduated from high school, and moved out of my childhood home to attend university in an entirely different state. I also discovered how to manage my own time and how to build a new life that was entirely of my choosing. I slowly, unconsciously, naturally lost touch with old friends and formed careful, undeniable bonds with new ones. I rode on the Boston subway or the T by myself for the first time, which had always been a personal fear of mine. I began writing for the college newspaper, joined the Korean Association where I found a new family and home away from home, and learned how to earn money for myself with a part-time library job in YouTube. YouTube especially has made me realize how precious 2019 was for me. It's here on this channel where I have now stored so many lovely memories, visual time capsules of beautiful little moments that would have otherwise been lost to the tidal waves of time. And it's here where I've somehow been able to have an infinitesimal impact on all of you. Whether you're one of my family members in Georgia or Texas or California or Korea. And speaking of which, or one of my thousands of new friends from all across the globe keeping up with my life. I'm not too sure what 2020 has in store for me. Whoever is. <laughs> However, I know that it's not enough to live a life punctuated by the occasional deviation from the ordinary. There are adventures to be had, an undying curiosity to satisfy, and many more sunrises to be seen. Exactly once each year, I close a door on the fond memories of the past and take unwavering steps into the future. I look forward to entering into this new year, decade, and chapter with confidence and with hope.
as always, I'll see you soon. And Happy New Year!